your child only has one brain, be sure that everything you do is geared toward keeping uh, that young mind and that young soul intact. One thing that's really important to recognize is that helmets were not designed and they don't meet a standard uh, to prevent concussion. They were developed uh, to prevent catastrophic injuries such as skull fractures, subdural hematomas, epidural hematomas. It's not just putting on your helmet. There are multiple aspects. The helmet has to be the right gear for your position and your activity. It has to fit well. It has to be well maintained. And it has to be worn consistently and correctly. Otherwise, it won't provide the best protection. Probably even more important, use proper technique. Most of the concussions, say in football, happen because of head-to-head -head collisions. And it's technically against the rules to be using the head as the initial point of contact in blocking and tackling. And now after sustaining a traumatic brain injury, as weird as it sounds, now I can help people and teach kids on, you know, what's the right thing to do and how to do things safely and make sure that kids do things the right way. Because I want to make sure that I'm protecting them, you know, not just to play the game and, you know, if they want to move on and play in college or even professional, but really to protect them for their future so they can be all they want to be, they can accomplish everything they want to accomplish.